Look at that, I'm wearing a soccer shirt for a soccer video. What a concept. Hello everybody. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my Australia shirt. Australia has won. Uh, and again, it's my only Asian uh, team where I have a shirt off. So, um, hence I'm wearing it. It's one that I like a lot. But if you watched my preview, I also told you that I don't count much on Australia in this tournament. I actually think at most quarterfinal in there, given that the opening loss to Jordan happened, we might even get tied for quarterfinal. But today it was all good. First of all, they played in a very tiny stadium, uh, 12,000 people, but it was sold out. Also, what a concept. If you don't expect many uh, spectators, why do you have such huge stadiums that are old and empty? So uh, it was actually good to see stadium full with supporters and I actually wa I wonder how many were from Palestine because that's I would expect a lot from Palestine uh, or being for Palestine there uh, given the diaspora from Palestine as well so yeah um, Australia oh, there were a sufficient amount of Australian supporters that I could see as well yeah Australia had to win this game um, yes it's not, was not the end of the line uh, especially since you had one more game and you need to be among the best three, but you know, the more points you have, even if you end up in third place, the better it is for you. And within 20 minutes, they had a 2 0 lead. Uh, the first goal was scored by McLaren in the 18th. Two minutes later, it's Aver Mobile who scores uh, 2 0. Both goals um, well taken. And from then on, there was actually no turning back uh, for Australia. I assume. Again, have not seen the game, but the highlights basically showed the three goals. Australia controlled the game from then on and played it home safely so that the final goal uh, by Janu in the 19th minute was just icing on, on the cake. But it was a win that Australia sorely needed uh, to get the campaign going. Um, also, this puts them now in second spot again, which is probably better than to being one of the third place teams. And you basically need a point to qualify for sure. And even if you would lose your last game, I think with three points, you're not looking that bad to actually make it out of this group. So um, among the best fourth place teams. So I think um, overall good news for Australia. Yeah, the performance, the results, everything looking up now. Uh, you're just going to beat Syria or get a point against Syria and it goes well. It also went well for another huge nation. Uh, China against the Philippines and I don't know much about the game but the first two goals of China were absolutely worth watching uh, the first one in the 42nd and let me get the names uh, by Lei Wu both were by Lei Wu uh, number seven aside from the highlights um, really well take shot from outside the box um, it's a nice a curve into the corner of the goal really really beautiful shot uh, one of the better goals of the tournament for sure uh, and that was beaten actually by the second goal which was a free kick from the edge of the box close to the touchline uh, comes in and he has to run back and volleys in, in, in the internet uh, I think it took more skill than the one from Suarez uh, last weekend I think it was really wonderful Shot taken in, in between. There were two situations where I think uh, at the let's put that at the World Cup a penalty would have been given for China, uh, and then the third goal for China was kind of a little bit scrappy. I mean, it just had to be headed in by let's see uh, the Bao Yu uh, also made it uh, three nil, so safe win for China against the Philippines. I wanted to see the Philippines, who were a nominal home to not play in their white shirts, which we had already seen. I wanted to play in red. I really want a team playing red against China, because only that way we'll see what will be the away jersey for China. It may well be that everyone of, uh, playing against China is forced to play in the non-red kit, uh, since they don't have an alternative. Uh, that's going to be interesting. I would love to. I, I really want to see what alternative kit they had. It also gets me to the point. Um, I am slowly preparing to make a jersey review. It is just that some of the pictures, I uh, have now two articles found that uh, claim to have all the um, 
uh, Asian Cup jerseys. And when you see what's played at the Asian Cup, they're not all Asian Cup jerseys there. The only way to really verify this is if you uh, see the live shot pictures from the tournament. So I know this would be six videos, but I want to at least get a chance of seeing as many jerseys as possible. So it might not be that I don't, it might not be before the second round that I will actually make this review. Please give me some time. I will probably try for group A because their information is quite good um, to get something going there and uh, we'll see from there. I think group A is the one that I can safely do and um, group B is a with Australia also looks okay. -ish. Although Syria, Syria, Palestine, those jerseys look a whole lot similar. I can say that for sure. But yeah, it's gonna come sooner or later. I actually dying to do this. Um, looking forward to do them. But um, I really want to get good inf information. I also need to find the time not only to shoot those, but also to edit, which is a whole lot more uh, work than you might expect. And yeah, I probably will not change. The background for these videos as i that's the only jersey i have and i might be wearing it for all the review jerseys uh all the review videos i want to say and yeah and that gets us to the other um um the game that was played in group c which became kyrgyzstan and uh, south korea and it just ended one nil for south korea uh the goal was scored from a header uh, defender Min Jae Kim and then it was down to luck uh, that there were not more goals scored for South Korea um, they hit at least once the bar had two or three clear chances that you just need to make and this is at the moment a little bit the worry for South Korea they already had it in the uh, their first game against the Philippines where they should have made a whole lot more goals than they actually did and um, it ends just 1-0 for South Korea. And why am I saying this is, is trouble? Well, you already had a messy 1-0 win uh, in the first game. You now have a 1-0 win. So you had 2-0. Uh, China has a 2-1 and a 3-0. So China has the superior goal differential. So you need to beat China if you want to become first place, which is probably the um, task ahead for South Korea. Um, can they do it? Yes, they can. Uh, will China be a little bit on a roll? Probably they are. I still would favor South Korea in that one over China. But hey, the game still needs to be played. Marcello Lippi, we all know him. He's a great coach. With now a lot of experience in China. So yeah, um, it's going to be a game to look forward to, honestly. So and I definitely will look forward to that one. So as I said, uh, there will be Jersey Review coming up quite likely and I probably will do it even with grades because I don't see myself finding a time at the moment to actually writing it would be so much fun to write about it but I think I will do it um, video by video uh, um, group by group videos and probably will rate the jersey as well um, if you have any thoughts on that let me know but that's kind of what I have in the back of my mind but it might be uh, another week before everything before this gets started and I have sufficient information Again, let me know in the comments what you thought about the games today, results. Uh, if you saw, have seen the games, I would love to hear your comments um, about those. Uh, whether you agree or disagree with what I tried to suck out of the uh, little highlight that I have. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And like uh, this video if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.